watching News 10 at 6 on the news station. It's one of the fastest growing sports in the world and one of the more controversial. It's mixed martial arts, or MMA, the basis of the wildly popular ultimate fighting. You won't find MMA co competitions in New York State, but News 10's Jamie Say tells us the sport has arrived in the Capital Region. If you haven't seen it already, this is Ultimate Fighting, or the UFC. Mixed martial arts competitions like this are banned in New York State. Two, three, but mixed martial arts, or MMA, is here in the Capital Region, being taught at places like Tigon Academy in Waterville. While some say the sport is too violent and dangerous, the Tigon students love it, black eyes and all. It's a great workout, you know, we come here and every class, you know, you're pushing yourself harder and harder. The instructors are just pushing you. They're not gonna let you quit. Tigon Academy was founded a year ago and has grown to over 30 students. The youngest is 15, the oldest is 42. Five times a week, instructors teach not only martial art techniques, punching, kicking, submission holds, but also discipline and self-control. They say they also stress family and are hoping to change the perception of their sport. A lot of people see it as a blood sport, um, just two guys just trying to beat the heck out of each other and it's so much more than that. Yes, it does have that violent look, but football, basketball, baseball, they, they all bang heads too. This is actually a controlled aspect of, of an aggressive sport. It's not just two guys just getting in there and punching each other. It's technique, form. Still a little confused about what exactly mixed martial arts is. Well, it combines taekwondo, boxing, and kickboxing, along with jujitsu and wrestling. There's so much technique, um, so much discipline. There's so much dedication it takes to actually become a competitor in this sport. Um, and people don't realize that. New York is one of 20 states that ban MMA competitions, but that could change and soon. Earlier this month, UFC reps were in Albany lobbying for their sport. A lift of the ban would be welcome news to the Tigon Academy. In Waterville, Jamie Say, News 10. And now a look at what we're working on here in the newsroom for News 10 and 11.